This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Keep watching for more information and a special offer. It's no secret that, what with one thing and another, my home country of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is not as united as it once was. In particular, Scotland made a bid for independence a few years ago and very nearly succeeded, and is hoping to try again. So one question that gets asked from time to time is this. Is there anything similar anywhere in Germany? Could a part of Germany break away and become an independent, sovereign nation-state in its own right? Well, indeed there is. Germany is a federation of 16 states, and in about half of those there's a fair amount of support for the idea of separatism. Top of the list is Bavaria, where according to a survey conducted in 2017, about a third of the population would be in favour of independence. Could it happen? Legally, probably. There isn't a provision for it in basic law, but neither is there a ban on it. However, it might be difficult. In 2016, the Federal Constitutional Court refused to grant permission for a referendum on the rather mysterious grounds that the states are not masters of the basic law. OK, but what are the arguments for independence? Well, first of all, Bavaria is big. It is bigger in terms of both land area and population size than, for example, Austria or Belgium. If those countries can survive as independent nation states, then why can't Bavaria? Second, it's wealthy. It has an annual GDP of over $500 billion. The problem is that, as things stand now, it doesn't all stay in Bavaria. The way Germany is set up, part of the wealth generated by the states is redistributed, effectively meaning that the wealthiest states subsidise the poorer states. Bavaria, being so economically successful, consistently loses out here. In 2017, nearly 6 billion euros left Bavaria to support other states. That's more than half of the total amount of money that is redistributed across the whole of Germany. However, things are not quite that simple. Were Bavaria to gain independence, there's no guarantee that it would instantly become 6 billion euros richer. First, much of that wealth is generated by big industrial giants, particularly car manufacturers. Now, depending on how things work out in practice, it may end up making sense for some of them to relocate out of Bavaria, and things might get particularly tricky if the EU insists that a newly independent Bavaria will have to go through the very long and complex process of applying for EU membership. Second, Bavaria would have to start paying for many things that the federal government currently handles, such as a proper army. An independent Bavaria would have 12,000 volunteer troops armed with 19th century carbines. But there's another problem. Not all of Bavaria is traditionally Bavaria. Modern day Bavaria is an administrative state, but the traditional Bavaria, Old Bavaria, is just the three districts of Upper Bavaria, Lower Bavaria and the Upper Palatinate. The rest of Bavaria is Upper, Middle and Lower Franconia and half of Swabia. The other half is in the neighbouring state of Baden-Württemberg. Now I live in Lower Franconia and while the locals would be overjoyed at having a hard border between us and the state of Hesse, they're also not particularly fond of the fact that they're also governed by Bavarians in Munich. However, all of this is moot. At the moment, only about a third of Bavarians would be OK with independence, but not to the extent of actually voting for it. The pro-independence Bavaria party struggles to get 2% of the vote in elections. So it looks as if we're here to stay, at least for now. An independent Bavaria would no doubt want to have its own internet as well, which would create huge problems with geo-blocking, problems which are already bad enough as it is. But thanks to my sponsor ExpressVPN, that doesn't have to be a problem. And ExpressVPN can also help you with the problem of geo-blocking in general, which, as I suggested, is already a big problem for lots of people. 
Also, if you're worried about the Bavarian minister-president phoning up your ISP and demanding to know details of your browsing habits, ExpressVPN can help with that too. It just adds an extra layer of security to help enhance your privacy online, which is definitely worth a 12-month subscription. But even so, if you sign up using this address or the link in the description, you'll get a 25% discount. State, but the three, the, the modern, the, adds an extra level of could it happen? <coughs> There's no provision for the rest of the.